Hello, it's Mrs. Kasky. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm in my kitchen today because we're going to have a fun kind of messier project. So what you're going to need is a coffee filter and then a spray bottle with some water and some washable markers. And I did it out here because I took paper towels and I kind of laid them on the counter. These ones, see they're nice and messy from my art. So I laid them down on the counter first while I was coloring. So then cleanup was much easier. So with this, you can either leave it flat or I folded mine twice so that I could have the color bleed to all sides easily. So I fold it in half once and then one more time. Okay, from here, you're gonna pick markers, doesn't matter which color, and you're gonna decorate it. And you wanna leave some white spots. So on the two that I finished, I did one with warm colors. It gives it a nice, beautiful tie-dye effect. So this was red, orange, and yellow. And then on my other one, I made cool colors and I did green, blue, and yellow. Um, on this one, Kipton mixed all sorts of fun colors. Beautiful. So now that I have it folded, I'm gonna take this. Again, you could draw shapes or uh, lines. I'm just making wavy lines with red right now. Okay, so I turn it red. And then I'm gonna add some orange in between. So this could be a warm color one. Now, what you wanna do before you spray it is kinda of open it up a layer and see if it went all the way through. You can see over here, there's not much marker, so I'm gonna leave it unfolded so I can see my lines and retrace them to get more ink. The more ink I have, the better before I spray it. And it will be more colorful. All right, so I'm going through. I unfold it, so I added more orange. Now I'm gonna go back with my red. So I'm sticking to about two colors on this one. My other ones I use three. So now I'm finished. Okay, I'm going to, you could either leave it flat or you could refold it. I'm gonna refold it. Lay it down on my paper towel placemat. Okay, so it'd be like this. And then I'm gonna take the spray bottle, I'm gonna spray it. So I'll show you it in a minute. And you really want to get it wet. The colors will start bleeding together. From there, you want to just let it sit for at least probably an hour, depending how hot your house is. If it's pretty warm in your house, like mine is, because we've been cooking and it's nice outside, it might dry in about an hour. Otherwise, it might take longer if your house is nice and cool. The reason why you want to wait is because it is fragile, which means it can break easily. So if you try to pick on it or pull it apart, it will rip. But if you wait a good hour or two, and when you unfold it, you'll see your beautiful masterpiece. So I'd love to see what you create, what colors you pick. Send me a picture in the comments on YouTube, or you could put it on our Facebook page or Class Dojo. Miss you all, I hope you're doing well.